Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, kita akan sambung uh, kali ini kita akan belajar mengenai, mengenai haiwan hidup bersendirian. Ini dibagi contoh uh, beruang. The eagle lives in its nest. The cheetah singa, uh, helang. Uh, sorry bukan singa tadi. Ini uh, antara haiwan yang hidup bersendirian. Kalau nasib nah, dalam habitat biasanya dia ni lah binatang akan hidup berkumpulan. Ni contoh ha, dan bawah tu contoh bersendirian. Mean when we say animals live in solitary or as solitary animals. Look at these animals. These animals are solitary animals. Living in solitary means living alone. Dia cakap uh, living solitary maksudnya living uh, hidup secara bersendirian. Dia bagi contoh-contoh lah binatang hidup bersendirian. Ini contoh dia yang hidup siap. Uh, harimau, uh, ular hidup bersendirian. Laba-laba, uh, squirrel, tupai, uh, helang dan panda. Let us now learn why some animals live in solitary Look at these animals Click on each of the animals to Do you know when do tigers return to its group? And why are cubs in the care of the female tiger? Discuss with your friends. Uh, when do tiger return to its group? Bila masa dia pula? Dia hanya, bukanlah berkumpulan. Dia pun hanya akan mencari pasangan. Dia pun hidup akan pasangan bila time musim mengawan. Uh, dan lagi satu, bila time anak. Anak akan uh, singa betina. Eh, singa, bukan singa, sorry. Harimau betina yang jaga. Eh? Tigers are solitary animals. They are most active at night and mark their territory by spraying their urine. Singa ni, uh, sorry, harimau ialah uh, binatang hidup bersendirian. Uh, jadi bila hidup sendirian, uh, dia ada cara-cara lah untuk mempertahankan kawasan dia. Uh, sama macam kucing. Contoh pertama, spraying dia urine. Maksudnya dia akan uh, kencing lah, tanda kawasan dengan kencing kau tempat tu. Lepas tu, leaving fecal dropping. Maksudnya dia berak, tanda tu, dia letak, berak merata. Uh, tu tahu kawasan dia lagi satu, scratching tree with their claw. Maksudnya dia orang akan cakar tempat-tempat uh, atau pokok-pokok yang ada dekat kawasan dia. Untuk menunjukkan tu kawasan dia. Dia kencing, dia, apa, dia berak kawasan tu dan juga dia cakar. Itu tiga cara untuk menunjukkan tu kawasan dia. Leaving fecal droppings. Tigers mark their territories to protect the area to guarantee their food supply. Antara sebabnya dia pertahankan uh, to food supply untuk dapat makanan. Maksudnya dia, 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 dia orang tak payah kongsi. Harimau untuk makanan yang ada dekat kawasan tu hanya dia je punya. Tak boleh berkongsi. Even though tigers are solitary animals, a male tiger will... Okay. Uh, walau bagaimanapun, tiger memang hidup sini. Tapi, uh, mereka akan perlu perlu uh, bersama apabila musim mengawan. Will return to its group during the mating season. Infants or cubs are in the care of their mother until... Okay. Anak pula akan bersama ibunya sampai anak harimau anak harimau tu boleh berdikari boleh cari makan sendiri apa dah besar baru bah depa berpisah ha, kalau kata selagi ni depa akan hidup bersama ha, dah besar dah besar baru uh, anak harimau akan berpisah daripada ibu on their own when there is an extra supply of food sometimes tigers gather to share Big prey that they catch. Do, do you, you know, know how squirrels hunt for food? What do they eat? Discuss with your friends. 
Yes, squirrels are solitary animals. Tupai hidup bersendirian. Ha, tupai pun bi biasa cari makanan dia bersendirian. Kerana dia, dia nak elakkan persaingan. Ha, jadi makanan tu hanya untuk dia. Ha, dia tak ada kongsi. Ha, sebab dia hidup bersendirian. Squirrels usually look for its food alone to avoid competition. They are active due They are alone in the hollows of leaves and twigs by living alone without any competition from other squirrels. Female squirrels take care of their young in their nest. Uh, ni pun sama. Mereka hidup berkumpulan untuk jaga anak. Uh, tapi uh, betina, uh, tupai betina. Sampai uh, anaknya dah besar, boleh hidup sendiri, hidup, boleh hidup cari makanan sendiri, survive sendiri, baru pisah daripada ibu. Nest and nurse them on their own. Seeds, nuts and fruits. Uh, ni makanan tupai. Do you know how eagles hunt their food? Does an eagle live alone too? What do they feed on? Helang hidup bersendirian. Kenapa dia hidup bersendirian? Dia nak elak persaingan. Makanan, makanan hanya untuk dia tak pakai kongsi. An eagle lives alone. It lives in solitary. Eagles are carnivores. They feed on other smaller animals. Helang carnivore. Jadi dia makan binatang lain. Ha, dia beri contohlah makanan yang dia makan tu. Okay, next. Do you know how bears hunt for their food? Beruang, Do they live alone too? Beruang hidup sendirian. Discuss with your friends. Bears are solitary animals. This means they live alone in caves, therefore avoiding competition for food and space. Beruang hidup bersirian untuk elak persaingan makanan dan juga ruang. Although they live in solitary, they still get involved in relationships. Sama juga macam binatang lain, mereka ni bila time musim mengawan baru mereka hidup, hidup berkumpulan. Relationships with the surrounding bears, especially and female bears must meet to call. Infants or cubs need to remain in the care of their mothers. Pun sama juga binatang lain, uh, beruang anak beruang uh, akan bersama ibunya sampai besar sampai boleh hidup sendiri baru bisa. Until they can survive on their own. We have seen the examples of solitary in solitary. Okay. Kenapa, uh, ha, kenapa haiwan hidup bersendirian? Pertama, untuk elakkan persaingan makanan. Maksudnya makanan terhad. Jadi, makanan dia tak payah kongsi. Ha, bandingkan binatang yang hidup berkumpulan lah. Dia, dia orang kena kongsi. Tapi kalau hidup bersendirian tak. Lepas tu, uh, to take care nanti dia are able. Uh, dia pun hidup ni, uh, dia pun jaga anak lah eh, dan lain-lain. Untuk ruang. Untuk elak persaingan merubut ruang. Dan yang terakhir, kenapa dia orang hidup bersendirian? To protect the area and guarantee for supply. Dia pun perlu uh, lin, uh, menjaga kawasan jajahan dia. Di dalam kawasan jajahan ni ada, akan ada makanan. Makanan tu untuk dia. Dia tak payah kongsi. Ha, contoh harimau. Kawasan dia. Kawasan dia tak ada siapa dalam tu. Dalam tu ada binatang ke ada air. Ada makanan. Semua hak untuk dia. Dia tak payah kongsi dengan harimau lain. And guarantee food. Sometimes... Some animals that live in the solitary mark their territories to protect their area and guarantee food supply. Some of the solitary animals take care of their young until they are able to survive on their own.